Today's video topic is coding and robotics. I will explain what block-based coding is, demonstrate how to build using Scratch, and I will program a virtual robot using VexCode VR. Let's get to it. Let's start with what is coding or programming. Programming is the process of creating a set of instructions that tell a computer how to perform a task. You are probably familiar with the text-based programming languages like Python, JavaScript, C++, which use letters, numbers, and symbols. But what is block-based coding? Block-based coding was introduced by the MIT Media Lab, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It allows computer programs to be built by dragging and dropping puzzle-looking blocks to represent programming constructs and commands. Block coding platforms have become popular because it removes the need to learn syntax and it allows you to create animations and games without actually writing any code. Block coding is an entry level and it is a great way to introduce children to coding. Young ones can use these blocks to gain a foundation in computational thinking and an understanding of sequences and problem solving. As kids advance, they can easily learn Python. Now let's go over the block types in Scratch. Scratch is the first and more popular block programming language. In Scratch, your character is a sprite. My sprite is named Me Needs Beer. On the code tab on the left side, you will see all of the block types. The most used ones are motion, looks, and sounds, but all of these block types contribute in making your game or animation creative and functional. The block types are pretty self-explanatory as well. Motion blocks control the movement of your character, so I'll select move and change to 60 steps, and I'll add a glide. Look blocks control what is said, what is thought, and changes the appearance of your character. So let's add a say hello and another one to introduce my sprite. Sound blocks control all sounds and volumes. So I will add a meow since this is a cat. These are the other types, events, controls, sensing, which I haven't used yet, operations and variables. Okay, let's see what we built. That is a breakdown of how the block-based coding works. Now let's use these methods to program our robot using VexCode VR. VexCode VR is an open source platform that allows you to code a virtual robot using block-based coding. This platform also allows you to code with a custom-developed text-based Python, but today we are talking about blocks. As you can see, this platform uses the same scratch blocks that we just went over, but instead of our sprite, I have a wall maze open. This is our virtual robot, and I will use these blocks to get it from point A to point D. Okay, let's start by going forward. We will make a left. We will then proceed forward and we will make a right. Let's check it out. Awesome. Okay, so then we're going to continue forward. We will make a left. So we'll change this to left. We'll go forward and we'll make another right. All right, I'm gonna start this over. Let's check it out again. Cool, all right. Now we will go forward again. I'm gonna make a left this time. All right, we'll go forward and we'll make a right. All right, let's check it out at a different angle. Very cool. All right, let's go back to the map view. So now we have to go forward. We're gonna make a right. And then we're gonna go forward and let's see, this is a pretty long stretch. So let's change this to 750 and see if we don't crash into that wall. If we don't, we should turn right. All right, let's test it out. And we're gonna look at this angle.
Awesome, that was perfect. I thought we were gonna crash. All right, so now we're gonna go straight. And it looks like we have to up the forward on this one. So let's go 475 and hope we reach here. Then we're gonna turn left and we will go forward and we will turn I think another left but let's just make sure so let's start this over okay awesome all right so let's go forward and it looks like this one's a little bigger, but not as big as this 475. So let's just put it at 400. Hope we don't hit that. And if we don't, we're going to do a continuous right. Let's try this angle again. I thought that was pretty fun. And go. Yay! Cool. And since it's a continuous right, it's just going to keep going until I tell it to stop. <laughs>